The Office of National Statistics have finally admitted this week that their estimated immigration figures have been wrong. But what are the real figures for immigration from the EU to the UK? So the BBC, Sky News and others have all reported this story. The ONS has admitted that its estimates all the way through from 2009 to 2016 are incorrect and it's still working on them. So it says the current published figures cannot be relied upon either. Why does this matter? Well, it means that the basis upon which central government plan for housing, for school places, for public services, such as doctor surgeries and NHS hospital capacity and everything else is all based on incorrect numbers. Because it essentially means that we don't know how many people live in the UK. It's a big problem. And I suspect by finally admitting what many have suspected for a very long time, the ONS have finally taken the lid off a very, very big can of worms. So how did this happen? How did the ONS get it wrong for so long? Well, the staggering truth is that in this country, we don't have a system for accurately measuring immigration at all. Surely the identity of each person entering the UK is logged and the identity of each person leaving is logged too. And then we can see that anyone who's come in but hasn't left after a few weeks is living here. And then we look at births and deaths and add in the net immigration figures and we can work out how many people are actually living here at any point. No, that's not how it works. The staggering truth is that the immigration figures are not based on a simple system like I've just described. They're in fact based on a travel survey that was devised in the 1960s. It's called the International Passenger Survey. Essentially what happens is this. A small sample of people arriving at UK ports and airports are asked to voluntarily answer a whole series of questions. One of those questions is, do you intend to stay for more than 12 months? If they say yes, then they become an immigrant and they're included in the figures. If they say no, they don't. The total figures are estimated from a small sample. Now bear in mind that anyone coming from anywhere in the EU can get a flight home for less than 100 quid with a cheap airline. So why would they say they intend to stay for more than 12 months without returning home? Surely unless all your family and the majority of your friends have moved away, you'll regularly return home and therefore never be counted in the figures. So essentially these estimates are completely misleading. They're constantly quoted by the media and used in calculations, but they're nonsensical. So to go back to the original question, what are the real figures? Nobody knows. Ridiculous though it might seem, it's true. No one actually knows. But I did do some research on this a while back to try and get some sense of how far out the estimated figures might be. So each of the bars show at the bottom, the dark bit, the official immigration figures from the EU to the UK. And the total size of the bar shows the figures for new national insurance registrations in the same period. So for example, in 2015, the ONS said that 269,000 people emigrated from the EU to the UK. But in the same period, 630,000 people registered from the EU for national insurance numbers. So there is a massive difference. And this doesn't include all those people who've arrived to live in the UK, but haven't registered for a national insurance number because they work for cash as au pairs or cleaners or whatever. They all need housing and use public services. So there's no answer to the original question. And frankly, that's ridiculous because the government can't plan lots of things without that data. And it's a perfect example, therefore, of how Brexit really is about taking back control and doing things properly and responsibly. And that as a nation, the role of national government is to govern for the benefit of its national citizens. So you do at the very least, at the most basic level, need to know how many of those citizens there are to provide for. To see our future videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon. That way you'll get a notification by email as soon as a new video is available. In the meantime, please do help us out and like and share or retweet this post so your friends and followers can see it too.